So modes are just the major scale starting from a different note, right? No. So if I was in the key of A, and I decide to play a lot of B notes and emphasize the B, I'm in the second mode, right? Because B is the second note. Wrong. Here's the real truth about modes so you can play them properly. So modes are actually quite easy to understand, but there's a lot of confusion and they're often very misunderstood because they tend to be taught backwards. So let's take the A major scale for an example. That's from A to A, A major scale. If I was to then start with the root note on the B, I would have B Dorian, which is the second mode, because I've gone from B to B. But that does not mean that when you're playing a solo and your backing track is in the key of A, It does not mean that you start playing more Bs and you're in the B Dorian mode. It just does not work that way. If your backing track is in A major, your song is in A major and your solo is in A major. Yes, B Dorian and A major have the same notes, but you have to look at the context. If I want to play the B Dorian mode, I need a B minor chord, because that is the chord of the mode. B minor 7. If I try to play over something else, it can't be the B Dorian mode, because you've got the root note right here. That's what's given it, it's context. It's all about the context. So if I've got the A major scale, I've got A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. And this follows the pattern tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. If I'm to play that along one string, I've got open A, tone, which is two frets, tone again, which is two frets, then one fret, that's the semitone. Then we continue the pattern. That is our scale. But then, if we look at the B Dorian mode, we actually have B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, which, yes, is the same set of notes, but look at what's happened to the distances between those notes. We're now starting off with a tone, then we've got a semitone, then three tones, then a semitone, then a tone. This makes a different scale. So if I was to play that pattern, starting from the A again, open A, we've got a tone, so the second fret, then a semitone, then three tones, then a semitone, then a tone. This makes a different scale entirely. If something is truly modal, it will be played over a static chord. So the B minor 7 we had earlier, that gives us the B Dorian. And those kind of sounds go together. Or there will be a riff using notes of that scale. So really the harmony is static. And as soon as the chord changes, all bets are off. It's no longer part of that scale because our root note has moved. Say we went from that B minor 7 to an A major. Quite a lot of songs have that. Now our root note is A and everything you play is relative to an A. So wait, does that mean that every time the chord changes I'm playing a different mode? Because that's just complicated. That's a very common question and the answer is no. Because if you're playing over a chord progression where the chord's changing all the time, you're actually playing tonally, so you'll be in the key of A major, or you'll be in the key of A minor, or C sharp minor, or something, but that's not a mode. Modes work when you've got a static chord, and you've got kind of a... some sort of pattern that repeats, and then you can use 
the specific colour of that mode to solo in, but you're still not playing tonally, and if the chord's changing, then that's not a modal backing track that you're playing to. To emphasise this point, here I am playing the notes of the A major scale over different bass notes, because it's the bass note that's going to decide where your root note is and what everything's heard against. So that's the bass note that the bass is playing, or the bass note of your chord, or just the root note of your chord. If you like these videos, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with all your friends. You can also subscribe to my channel for more videos like these, or visit my website, chainsawguitartivision.net, for information on how to get in touch for one-on-one -on -one lessons over Skype or webcam. And until then, turn up and rock out.